When it comes to players in the top 50, people generally know how they got to the point they are right now. For example, Whitehead, a player that was banned for 3 years then got unbanned and dominated the Yosu rankings. Zutinator, one of the best female players in the game, known for her insane hidden and hidden hard rock scores and playing in a lot of tournaments as you can see. And Utami. We are not going to talk about Utami. However, sometimes there's players in the top 50 that generally people know, but they don't know how they got to the point they are right now. One of those examples would be Maliszewski, a top 20 Polish player that has been dominating the tournament scene, yet not a lot of information is known about him. This is the interesting story of the tournament beast known as Maliszewski. Before we actually start, let's quickly summarize everything we know about him. Maliszewski is a 15 year old Polish player currently in the top 20, known for his insane dominance in the tournament also scene. So much so that as of me recording this audio, he has 19 tournament badges. He is also known for setting some insane scores in the game, like for example doing stuff like this. <laughs> and many more examples that I can show for hours and hours, but we already know that. So, how did Maliszewski even discover Osu? Well, for that we need to go all the way back to 2016. A young 7 year old Maliszewski wasn't allowed to go outside at the evening hours because it was too late of course. And the only thing he could do at that period of time is wait for his father to come back from work so he can get his laptop and watch some fun videos on YouTube. You know the website that you are on right now watching this video. That was pretty much the only thing he could do at that period of time. One day he stumbled upon a also YouTube video on his recommended page and since then he has always been interested in playing the game. Fast forward to 2018 and Maliszewski finally has his own laptop and this is where his also journey begins. This is pretty much the same story for any game he has started playing. The first ever map Maliszewski stumbled upon on is All Falls Down map by Plaudible. You're currently watching the map in the background and as Maliszewski said this is a certified banger. Not much is known about Maliszewski's first couple of plays in Osu because we Believe it or not, even Maliszewski doesn't remember this period that much. However, based on the play count, we can assume that he has a really good score progression. Because he actively started playing around June 2018 and he was able to set his first 300pp play in January 2019. His very first 300pp play was set on Monstratus Santa Sun with Nomad. An important thing to mention is that Maliszewski around this time was playing a lot of Nomad farm maps. For those of you that don't know, farm maps are maps that are pretty short but give a lot of performance points. An example of these maps would be Can Do, Lonely Gold, Black Rover, Happy Time, 5150, and so on. Right after setting his first ever 400 pp play on the top diff of Kimi no Buken, Maliszewski started experimenting a little bit with DT, setting scores on maps like Snowhalation, Change, Chica, and many more. Also, I think it's pretty important to mention his fast progression in the game. He set his first 300, 400, and 500 pp play in the first 7 months of 2019. After setting a B rank score, of a DT on Last Goodbye, Maliszewski decided to take a little break from Osu, mainly playing offline or on private servers. However, after roughly 4 months, he decided to come back to the game stronger than ever before, focusing more on DT this time, setting scores on maps like Just Stat Ice and even setting his first 600 PP play on Quaver. Just to put into perspective how insane Maliszewski's progression in the game is, he almost reached top 500 within the first 1.5 years of him playing the game. However, after setting these insane top plays, Maliszewski almost stopped playing the game completely. One of the main reasons for this is that he was having a really hard time in life trying to process everything that was happening around him. And because of this he started to lose motivation to play the game. Also not to mention that this was around the time when Covid started to appear. And also he moved to other games like for example Overwatch. He played a lot of Overwatch around that time. His final and official comeback to the game would be on August 2020. It would take a bit of grinding to get back on track with DT plays and other stuff. But after roughly 3 months he managed to set his very first 700 pp play on start again with DT and because of this grinding around October and November he managed to jump from rank 392 all the way to rank 140 and he ended the year off at around that rank. At the start of 2021 Maliszewski would shift his focus on something else in Osu. 2021 would mark the start of Maliszewski's tournament journey. The very first tournament he signed up to was NYX Winter Cup 2021. Just so you don't get confused 
news, Malishevsky at the time was going under a different username, that username being Ristal. For his first ever tournament experience, let's just say that he was matched up with some pretty tough opponents, those opponents being Skydiver and Zutinator. But considering this was his first ever tournament, he did really well. He managed to get both of his opponents to tiebreaker. Unfortunately, he did lose both of his matches. He would then continue to grant some ranks, getting from rank 136 all the way to rank 77. Later on in the year, he would participate in one of Osu's biggest tournaments, that tournament being Corsair's Open 2021, a tournament of 64 teams participating to win an insane prize pool of $2,500. And Malishevsky was matched up with some pretty popular players like for example Tvojstara, Stuv, Mistia and many others. They had a pretty good run in the tournament, winning 3rd place, getting themselves $120 and with this tournament Malishevsky got his very first badge. Later on, at the start of October, Malishevsky would have a weekend of a lifetime. On October 1st, 2021, Malishevsky would sit 800 PV play with a DTFC on Sanglo. Then, on October 2nd, 2021, he set a hidden DTFC on Necrofantasia with 99 AK that was worth 888 PP at the time. And because of these scores, he went from rank 70 to rank 50. And if you thought that was crazy, then on the 3rd of October 2021, which was a Sunday, Malishevsky would win an Osu tournament known as Osu Polish Masters that granted him a whopping prize of $200. And he got his second tournament bad. The end of October was nearing and that marks the start of Osu's biggest yearly tournament, which at the time was OWC 2021. He was put together in a team with Poland's biggest Osu stars like for example Rafis, Wabuwuf, Mustache and many more. And they did pretty well. They managed to win against the Czech Republic and Sweden to go to the quarterfinals where they lost 6-2 against Germany. They went to the losers bracket against Romania and they lost 6-3. And Malishevsky's performance overall in the tournament was really good. By score performance he was ranked number 12 on round of 32 and round of 16. And on quarterfinals he was actually ranked number 1. Around the start of November of 2021 also released the Zixo rework. And because of this Malishevsky lost a couple ranks going from rank 46 to rank 70. But that wouldn't be much of a problem because at the end of December Malishevsky had a pop off once again, going all the way to rank 43, setting scores on maps on Kyoki Rambu, Lost in Time, and of course, Yomi Yori. Before we continue with 2022, I'd like to mention some important things about Malishevsky. Believe it or not, pretty much everyone inspires Malishevsky to be the player that he is right now. He wants to be like every player combined, great at everything that the game has to offer. Even though he's not something close to that, he would still like to be the best version of himself. Seeing other players set some scores and being happy about it makes him happy as well and stays motivated to keep trying even if he feels like he reached his limit already. And I think because of this mindset, he showed in 2022 what he was capable of. Honestly, Malishevsky has done so many things in 2022 that I can make a separate video analyzing every single tournament that he has won. But to not make this video super super long, I'll quickly go over everything that Malishevsky has done in 2022. In January of 2022, he managed to climb all the way to rank 18 and winning an also tournament by the name of Osu Mercenary Shop 3 Tier 1 that rewarded him with one month of Osu Supporter and a badge. In February, he didn't focus much on climbing ranks because he was focusing on winning the NYX Winter Cup 2022, which he managed to win. At the time, this was his highest rewarding tournament, winning an insane amount of 570 euro. In March of 2022, he won two tournaments. The first one is PAC 2022 and the second one is Osu Battle Royale 5. On that day, he earned himself 380 dollars. In April, he was participating in AIM Cup in a team together with Badu. The tournament was finished on the 24th of April 2022, where both players earned themselves 75 euro. In June of 2022, he won the Perennials, another pretty popular also team-based tournament where he won himself 315 dollars. In July of 2022, Malishevsky won three tournaments. One of them is his biggest win yet. The first tournament he won is Bubbly QT Also Party 3. The team won six months of also supporter plus a banner and a badge. But what is arguably the biggest tournament he has won is Charlie's Perfect Math Class, a tournament where in the grand finals, Malishevsky faced what is in his opinion his hardest opponent yet, which was Utami. And with this win, he managed to earn himself $4,500. And the final tournament he won is Konyo Cup 2022, where he earned himself a badge. He also got fourth place in Yaz's Summer Cup 2022, where he earned himself $150. In August, he won one tournament which was the Finnish Dual Cup 2022. He earned 
himself a badge with this one. Fast forward to September of that year, he was participating in an AIM 16 player battle royale where he got 3rd place and earned himself $120. In the same month, he got 2nd place in Course Case Open 2022 where he earned himself $135. In October, he won 2 tournaments, Circle Circuit Championship 2022 that rewarded him with $200, and Siratora Trio Cup where he got rewarded twice. The first time he got $73 for being in the winning team and second time for being the MVP of the whole tournament earning himself $170. He also won Hitomi's Hidden Extra where he earned himself a badge as well. In November he got a badge for winning Pandas' Full Suichi Cup. Maliszewski reached his peak rank which was rank 12. He also set the current hidden PP record with an insane FC on Yomi Yori with hidden. And finally in December of 2022 he got two badges for winning K and Yoke Spice's Scramble and Resurrection Cup Cataclysm Contest. And the final thing to mention about 2022 is Maliszewski's performance in OWC. The Polish team was already stacked enough but with the help of Maliszewski they managed to get all the way to the semi-finals and they were literally inches close from participating in the finals. Not to mention he was the best performing player in almost every single round in the OWC tournament. Here are some bonus things that I forgot to add in the video. The reason why Maliszewski wanted to focus more on tournaments is because he watched the Polish team play in OWC 2020 and he wanted to play in the tournament as well. So since then he has focused more on tournaments and tournament play. In his opinion the proudest achievement that he has achieved is being able to play at his best when he is in a tourney match while also keeping the expectations that everyone has for him. His favorite tourney experience so far is the 3 digit world cup 2021. If you want to know why be sure to pause and read. As for his future plans he wants to chill and enjoy the free time he has while he's still young. And as a final message to the audience do your own thing, enjoy the game the way that you like. You can farm PP, run your skill, play tournaments, it doesn't matter at all. It's your decision how you play the game. I've been Stu, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.